Hello friends, welcome to Physics World. Today we are going to discuss about the chapter 5 that is gravitation. In this uh, video, we are going to cover the introduction part of gravitation. Before going deep into the topic, let us recall the history of gravitation. One day in England in the year 1665, one famous scientist sat under the tree and he was thinking something. Meanwhile, an apple fell on his head. Then he started thinking, why did apple fell on my head? Why can't I fall on the apple or why can't the earth fall on the apple? With that revolutionary idea, he introduced the theory of gravitation to us. And that person is none other than Sir Isaac Newton. We don't know whether the story is true or whether the story is an imagination. But the story is really very famous. The story asks us to think creatively. The story asks us to question everything what is happening in this world. So this is the reason why gravitation became an important aspect of human life. Any object, when it is thrown upward, it has to come to the ground. It has to fall on the surface of the earth. Why? Because earth, earth is a massive body and it has attraction force towards its center. It has the attraction force towards its center. And Isaac Newton has given the name to this attraction force called gravitational force. Gravitational force. It is because of this gravitational force any object when thrown upward it will fall on the ground. Now if you look some other type of questions like you have learnt in your previous classes about straight line motions, curved motions and so many other types of motions. But in this chapter let us discuss some other type of motion. Let us take the motion of moon around the earth. Moon revolving around the earth. Moon is a massive body but it is very small comparatively to the size of the earth. Then what is making this moon to move continuously around to move continuously around the earth? What is what are the factors that is making this moon to go around the earth? Let us take one more example. Sun as a center and the planets revolving around the sun. One planet is our earth. Again the same question, what is making this earth to continuously revolve around the sun? Let us take one more example. Let us go inside the atoms. You know what is inside the atoms. Inside atoms we have electrons, nucleus, electrons revolve around the nucleus like how moon is revolving around the earth, earth is revolving around the sun in the same way electrons are revolving around the nucleus. What is making these massive bodies to revolve around another massive body? And there is answer for that. And that answer was given by Isaac Newton. What answer did he give to this particular question? Let us draw the diagram. Earth Person standing on the surface of the earth and he has a ball in his hand. When he throws a ball with some velocity v, the ball goes to some distance and falls on the surface of the earth. Next time he throws the ball with little more velocity and the ball travels some more distance and falls on the surface of the earth. Third time he throws the ball with higher velocity and this time the ball again goes to some more distance and fall on the surface of the earth. 
so every time he is increasing the velocity at one particular velocity when he throws the ball the ball continuously revolve around the surface of the earth see what has happened here so the ball when it is thrown with one particular maximum velocity it continuously revolve around the surface of the earth why the ball is continuously moving around the earth because earth at each and every point earth at each and every point is attracting this body this attractive force is making the ball to move continuously around the earth that is the reason why the moon is revolving around the earth by this we end our topic